Yo, I'm Venomous White, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds murder on Hedros. Prince of Toss will confront the intruder. Who the hell are you? Sweet shimmering law, where'd you come from? Sorry, uh, let me just get back in character. Whoa, 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 it's not what it looks like. Give me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. Friend, no need to get violent. There are as many reasons to spare my life as there are flavors in Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. I'll give you two reasons. First, I am a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Enterprise. And secondly, I'm just here doing a job for a VIP. Mascot's honor. Hmm, what kind of job? I am acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie, the Hole Meister, the Hack Attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message, something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. Tell me everything. It's extremely difficult for me to tell you no. <laughs> In fact, I'm experiencing enormous mental anguish right now. Will you meet me later over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. Tell me what you know, or I'll have to rinse your remains out of that mascot I, outfit. What? But I don't... I can't? Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Not here. I'm sorry. The pilot house complex. Meet me there, and I'll tell you everything, I swear. Hmm. I'm not even sure if I did the intro. I think I got distracted. But yeah. Welcome back to the Yellow Worlds of Venom Swat, and I hope everyone is doing well. Or at least the best they can be. Uh, be do. Okay, the smoker's lifespan has been shorted by approximately 11. Jeez. I'm a smoker, and that makes me uncomfortable. But yeah, it's true. I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Fortunately, you managed to save most of the hive. The wasquitos are essential to the orchards, you see. Losing them would have cost us months of production. They're not very big orchards, though, are they? You've only got, like, 20... ...and a few more lives that doesn't bother you. The orchards can be a dangerous place, but my workers understand the hazards. Something about this incident troubles me. The circumstances are... Suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? <laughs> Reach for cigarette, the plot thickens administrator. You have my attention. Uh, just after we read how it kills you, Dr. Blossom is dead, murdered by a unknown killer. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of House Young Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. She was in trouble when I found her the other workers had turned violent. Her commitment to her NDA was admirable. I'll make sure to accelerate the payout of her death benefits to her next of kin. Let's not leave to conclusions. All I know is she recognized the killer. The Rizzo's family is a small family, Inspector. Most of us recognize one another. Still, any information is good information. It troubles me to believe Leora could have been murdered by one of our own. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. Helen insisted on touring the R&D lab. Insisted? That's interesting. We'd scheduled a tour of the lab for Helen. Purely a public relations event to be held sometime in the indeterminate future. Then again, Helen and I were not well acquainted. I can't speak to her intentions. But you, you're part of us. Oh, I guess you'd recognize her. Okay. 
Spent a little time at the orchards. I found evidence she was at a picnic. A picnic? I don't recall approving a private social gathering at the orchards. I'll have to make a note of this information. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Was there anything else? Someone stole the data from your terminal. Yeah, that's troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. Heck, you can't steal that much data without an expensive cartridge. Oh. Thief had the resources. A clever deduction inspector. That gives us a little information to work with. This happened just before the wasp beetle attack. Somebody was trying to yes, stop me. I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you discover anything else? Oh, you know if I learned the anything else. The orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. No, it's 100% connected. Mind, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. Hey, why was there a suspicious looking mascot in my why room? Why was there a suspicious looking mascot in your room? I'm afraid I don't understand. Is this the lead up to a joke? There was also a uh, poking around my room. I, I don't know why. why there was a mascot in your room. The Grand Colonial doesn't offer that kind of room service. I think. He's got some pretty interesting things to say about Black Hole Birdie. Such as? <laughs> He's secretly illiterate. Oh well. But he convinced him to break into my room. He didn't know about I this. certainly did not. My policy toward Eridanos is one of, shall we say, benign negligence. I keep my distance and don't involve myself unless necessary. In any case, let me apologize for this unfortunate business. I'm sure this mascot meant no harm. I'll take your word for it. Else? I'll be back. Right, so... Hack. No, 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 revert. Let's get that hack up a bit. As well as that, what is our current objective? Speak to Dr. Goodnight. Question Amelia. Uh, he refused stationed at the pilot house. Let's go talk to, um... The coroner. Uh, to the lobby, please. I don't really know if we've got to exit the place or not, so I guess the lobby's a good good start. Right, so the coroner should be in here. I made the right decision. How the heck do we get upstairs? Point of interest at a vending machine. Oh no, not there. There. Well, we got downstairs easy enough here. I would have figured the coroner would be in the basement, not. Oh, I guess you—you know—you need a medical thing, so you'd want. All right, just looking at her neck. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. Let's hear it. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. If it's any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. 
I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer. But now I'm not so sure. Someone obviously trying to poison oh, Helen. Certainly. Well, possibly they were trying to make her extremely uncomfortable, but I suppose killing her would also satisfy that criterion. You sure it wasn't just a hotel food? A thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach and testing for the presence of the same toxin. Slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring. But other than that, no. I'm certain it wasn't, as you put it, just the hotel food. I'm not going to ask. When we were talking, you called her Ruth Bellamy, not Helia. Oh, yeah. I'm curious. I do believe you're right. Well, that I was her name. has something to do with the autopsy process. She was halcy on Helen up until the moment I brought her to the operating table. But as soon as I cut her open, I stopped thinking of her as halcy on Helen. It's almost as if she stopped being an icon and became a human being. I guess that makes sense. We'll talk later. Right, how do I get to the VIP lounge? Concierge, she'll give me access to the VIP lounge. The Grand Colonial front desk warmly welcome. How awesome. The access to the VIP I'd guest floor. To inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. But I'm in the penthouse suite. The only guest who'd have a problem with being up there would be the murderer. That's a good point. If they give me guff, I can just tell them that they're obstructing justice. That has a nice ring to it. Let me just set you up with VIP guest floor access. Done. You can now come and go as you please. I thought the penthouse has been clear for my stay, but it's a big store. Oh my. Well, that is certainly odd and alarmingly unacceptable. Allow me to check the service records. Ah yes. Not to worry, Inspector. It was indeed cleaned for you. Except for the evidence, which is all of Helen's stuff. What? It's not cleaning, man. But whatever. What floor would you like to visit? VIP guest floor. Black hole birdie. Be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking. I've already got one. A slug guard. It's a ranger. It's a ranger. Oh, this is a nice floor. About time you arrived. Oh, wow. I don't like him. The way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry rout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. Draw a weapon. You, you, you wouldn't harm an old man at the end of his wits, would you? I, I'm confused, disoriented. I may have even soiled myself. Wait. If you're armed... That must mean you're not with the hotel staff. Oh, this is curious indeed. Who are you? How did you get in here? Came through the door, bro. Just to rule and no sudden movements, I'm going to take everything that I down. No, I think we'll just investigate you're the murder. You're here to investigate me? Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge, in which I played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man. But uh, of course, I'm certain you already recognized it. Now, what shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. 
Well, they're here for an autograph from Hitter. Ask for your weapons. You can summon a weapon if you want. I'd be delighted. Oh, damn. My pen's out of ink. I'll just get you a portrait of my face as a souvenir. I'm sure I have the prints around here somewhere. By the by, how did you get in? I'm just trying to be friendly with him, even though I just want to shoot him in the face. individual cleared to enter guest rooms is supposed to be the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh. Uh, oh! <clears throat> Hello. Well done, you connected the dots. The pleasure in wasting people's time. I didn't realize it was you. I understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Bane, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Jesus. Here you're poisoned. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignified. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we clashed almost non-stop about his sloth preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Uh, can you think of anyone other than the chef who would want to harm you? I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. Wow, you're a gem, bro. You're a gem. According to Connor, Helen was also pausing. Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Helen wasn't killed by poison. Oh, that's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch. I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. Oh, why didn't you go to the clinic for your stomach pains? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. Right. I think that's all Very I wanted well. to know. Last day, so, ask you about the matter. How was it that Bellamy? Why are you so curious? Well, I'm really worried for my own sake. Perhaps whoever came after her could come after me next. Doubt it. But if you don't want to tell me, I understand. Whatever happened, I hope poor Bellamy didn't suffer. What were you up to at the time of the murder? I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Got anybody to corroborate that? that? It is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. You're meditating, All really. All actors have their methods, and this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. She taught me it for my role in the unemployed comic. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain, both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. Jesus, what the hell? How long have you worked with this prophet? Only since I've been at the Colonial, the unemployed comet was shot on sight. That makes it um, a few weeks. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. All right. Well, we'll keep I'll an eye out for the prophet. Whatever you wish. All right. Speaking through, you would. Uh, how would you have killed I'll come the victim? Down, Inspector, what do you take me for? 
I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. Did you know Helen well? Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. Must not have been too fun to be always staring alongside a younger oh, actress. It wasn't. And don't think I haven't picked up on your tone. Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. Yeah, I actually don't think this guy has uh, killed her. Like, he's to himself. I believe that he thinks murder is to belief. Murder is beneath him, 100%. He's an arrogant bastard. Um, where am I going now? Let's exit the Grand Colonial and see what happens. I don't know where we're going to go. Right, so, journal. So I that somebody poisoned him, we've got to speak to the chef, we've got to go to this meeting spot, but I also want to do the strange disappearance of the watchman. Okay, Lily's over here. Hope you've been enjoying your I'm not sure, yeah, Lily might have killed him. I can see it. Inspector. I'll get out of your hair. Sorry, wrong person. Lily didn't kill him, it was Amelia. Wait, how the hell did I get up here? Oh wow, I'm lost. Alright, ah, oh, the stairs. The stairs. Ow. Alright, we'll go question Amelia. And where is, if I go journal, if I go the Prince of Toswell, and go map. Alright, it wants me to go all the way over there. That was wrong with my shooting, it's not getting any better. Dreadful. Non slug personnel aren't permitted on the pilot house. Can I help you with something? I need to ask you a question regarding your co worker. He's fucking dead. You're kidding! Evan's dead? That doesn't. I don't understand. Can, uh. Can I ask what happened? I'm not sure yet. Why don't you tell me what happened he at the orchard? to haul some crates, but he was sloshed when I got there. Figured he got into the cargo or something, you know? He wasn't going to be any help, so I figured he could sleep it off in one of the employee rooms under the hotel. Left him on one of the beds in A2. He seemed fine. That checks out. Amelia, I know something bad happened in A2. I want to help. You won't believe me if I tell you. I found a giant slug on Evan's body. This case is already unbelievable. You what? Well, shit. Maybe you will believe me. I walked Evan to A2, like I said, and then, out of nowhere, he just came at me. One minute he's laughing and yelling about sharing his joy, and the next, he's choking the life out of me. Grinned the whole time he was trying to kill me, too. How'd you get away? Dumb luck, I guess. I got a good hit in, threw him off, and ran like hell. If I'd known the fault killed him, I... Oh. I don't know. I should have told someone. Oh, that's not your fault. A few what more questions. Want to know? I found the slug on a big ones. Any idea what that's I about? I can't help you there. If Evan is the victim of all this, we owe it to find out have what happened. Have you been to Purpleberry Orchard, Inspector? Awfully nice out there. You should visit. Thanks for the Anytime. tip. Anytime. Evan was drunk, but I didn't find any alcohol in his system. Law, this is making less and less sense. I didn't actually see him drink, if that's what you're asking. 
just seemed like the logical explanation, considering how weird he was acting. Weird how... really happy? Totally out of it. He was grinning like a fool the whole time, even when he attacked me. Why didn't you tell because anyone? Kevin would never attack anyone. I barely believe he attacked me, and I was there. Guess it shook me up pretty good. Evan's always been a total sweetheart. I don't get it. That's all I need to know. What happens now, Inspector? <sighs> um, don't want any trouble. I'm just here to untangle Fair this enough. web. I just wish I could understand why he did what he did. Evan is. I hope you're able to make more sense of this than I can. Right. Okay. Ideas, 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 ideas. Blame it on the slug, I guess. There's definitely some weird parasite thing going on here, and that's why he attacked her, so that makes sense. Inspector. You find my missing man? I found him, he's dead. Shit. That's fucking inconvenient. What happened? Evan Fallon landed on his head. It was an unfortunate act of him. It was an unfortunate accident. Yeah. That whole head. Oh, that's embarrassing. If he's gonna die and leave me short staff, he ought to at least have the decency to get mauled by raptodons or something. Also, Evan was covered here in slugs when I found him. That's unusual, but I don't see how that factors in. Me neither, but I Good intend to find That's out. Nice go-getter attitude you got there. I hope you do figure it out, but my involvement ends here. I gotta figure out who the fuck's replacing Evan. We're short. A new day, a new pain in my ass. Is that the quest complete? Quest complete. Alright, let's go talk to the chef real quick, I think. Halcyon Helen's death was the worst part of all this. I think that will be a good idea. Right, let's go cheek talk to Chef Sat and War. Ah, clue. Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, what am I saying? I can't do that. I'm booked for the next month. You'll have to make a reservation. You don't investigate the murder. You're the inspector? Here? Why? I, I mean... You may ask me whatever you want. I have nothing to hide. Did you prepare all of Helen's meals? Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Helen's last meal was poisoned. Oh. oh my law, this is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous. But I didn't heed her warnings. Okay, okay. I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. I'm a little thin here. Okay, what was Spencer Woolrich Mr. doing? Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting he seems to enjoy complaining in person while i could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once i believe that mr woolridge simply enjoys the attention he gets from us though don't tell him i said as much if you wish to speak with him mr woolridge can most likely be found in his suite on the vip guest floor he's usually there if he's not poking around here 
Bellhop Owens? Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. Let's not talk about the incident with the Raptodon pheromone glands. It's always Jeez, hard to yeah, say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. Okay, why are you being so evasive about leaving Hounsford well, untended? Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? If you tell me the truth, I might be more inclined to believe you the rest well, of what you I say. I suppose that's as good a point as any I've heard. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, and consequently I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. Why are you all drunk? I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera! It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything! Constable Keene has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. That's all I wanted Thank to ask about. Your... Right. Where have we got to go? What's our journal look like? What's our map look like? So we've got up here, over here, and that's over there. Right. Well, That's Bellhop Owens down there. Journal, wasn't there an... Bellhop Owens? I'm guessing that's... the security camera. Oh, nice. What? Profitability of late. No, I'm afraid I haven't. Why do you ask? I was looking forward to attending her seminar. She sings and now sings. Alright, well, I think we'll go and see Bellhop Owens next episode. Maybe explore over there, but until then, I've been Venomous White. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Cheers.